Hey Cancer, how are you? It's your girl out of mind, the one that lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. And I'm here with you all's October monthly messages. I decided to bring it outside today, you know, because it's a beautiful day and the weather is getting better a lot, you know, just cooler, it's not as hot and I'm a I'm a I'm a Florida girl, so I I love the heat. I love the summertime, but you know, sometimes I want to get outside from my readings. That's how I started. And so, you know, I love my setup now and I'm very thankful that I have it. But I'm definitely looking forward to getting back out in these trees and in this grass. You hear me? So um, I don't really have any updates for you all. So let's just go ahead and get into it. See what comes out. Thank you, Spirit. Please give me overall energy for the Cancer Sun placements, Moon, Risings, Venus, and North Node. Breath work is going to be important for you all the month of October. Breathing, finding time to breathe, finding time to practice your breath. As well as some of you all need to work on your posture. Um, I'm hearing scoliosis. Okay. Justice is coming for somebody. Somebody had you fucked up. Or something just was not, it, it wasn't going as you had hoped. I'm hearing, um, pack light again whenever this feather card comes out and this came out first for you all's overall energy be light as a feather and stiff as a board set your boundaries and be very light hearted you know let in what feels good okay you don't have to receive everything or take in everything but let in what feels good know cancer for some of you all I just feel like I'm gonna just be straight up for some of you all someone is using you for sex someone is using you for sex and I'm gonna need you to turn up on their ass cancer I'm going to need you to go my Kali on their ass I need you to go Medusa on their ass. I need you to go Hades on that ass. I need you to set your boundaries. Be light as a feather and stiff as a board. Okay. Release that release that heavy ass person. Release all of their bullshit that they want to bring to you or try to bring to you. Try to insert up in your womb. Fuck out of here. Music. Music is very, very significant for you all this month. Maybe some of you all do music. I feel like um, someone may be like a video model. But. I'm hearing like. You get to decide. This person again. Is using you for something. Maybe you know you're known or you have a nice body you look good it's very surface level like they are not really interested in you and you you may have peep peeped but you gave this person a chance you kind of ignored your own intuition and what i'll say with that is trust yourself cancer trust yourself your intuition will never steer you wrong um, even if you know that person or those people try to gaslight you and make you feel like what you're feeling is, you know, you tripping. It's mosquitoes out here. Um, but you ain't tripping, okay? And you don't have to um, 
you don't have to assign yourself to the story that they gave you, you know? Maybe to to their friends and shit, they say, you know, oh yeah, I got this. I got I got cancer wrapped around my little finger. I can I can do whatever I want to do to cancer and they gone and they gon' they gon' eat it up, you know? Shit. Hell yeah, you know, I, I fuck around with cancer and and now they just they they don't know what to do now that I didn't ghost them. I had to ghost their ass. You know, I I hear them talking like shit like that. Like it's something to like brag about. That shit ain't cute. You over you over thirty years old and can't like hold hold a deeper connection you know you can't enter a deeper connection than just surface level shit that's not cute nobody is applauding you bro or sis get your life together you're pathetic <laughs> the fuck you're pathetic you know I walk around on that bitch. I walk around on that. I don't know who's what song, who is that by, but that is the type of energy that you are being asked to have. Your spirits are like, walk around like you that, you that thing, okay? And don't give your body to this person anymore, okay? I don't care how good it was. Do not allow them to desecrate your body anymore. Defile your body anymore. They mean no good. And if it's not your actual body, it may be like your resources, you know? Um... I, I'm, I'm getting the storyline that there is someone who has someone fixing things up on their house and this person is charging you ridiculous amounts of money and the quality is not given. The quality ain't that. It's either the quality ain't that or like they take their time with this shit. It's like it's a waste of money. Or they aren't building your home right. Go and check out the foundation to make sure that everything is everything, you know. That when it rains, your shit won't sink. <laughs> That's what they're doing in Florida right now, y'all. They're building homes on... Uh, Shitty-ass foundations. And the property taxes in Florida are too expensive for that. <sighs> Somebody is masturbating on your in your body with your body. That shit is not cool. Not all of you, but you 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 know who 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 you are. And then for some of you all, you are interested in someone just for what they have. And I'm gonna tell you something. This person don't have nothing. So you throwing that thing and this person has nothing. They they don't have what they say that they have. Anyway. I feel like a lot of you um, will be spending a lot of time alone in October, doing things by yourself, going places, learning things home um like diy projects going to the movies by yourself and you're loving every single moment of it drinking eating some of you all are going to gain a couple pounds i'm sorry to tell you the month of october if you don't you know uh balance that out with a workout regimen Candy, sweet. Some of y'all gonna take your, your kids, 
trick or treat and, and you gonna end up eating all that candy <laughs> Oh my god or if you get the little halloween cookies with the faces on them and stuff they for your kids and you eat them oh get a pack for them and a pack for you don't do them like that they're gonna come home from school mad mad as hell at you mom you ate all of our cookies uh, chill out cancer i see a lot of um options coming towards you the month of October some of you all practice polygamy and you're gonna have a lot of um people interested in 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 joining your camp <laughs> nah joining you all's connection this October and then for some of you all um I'm feeling networking for you all you're going to be networking a lot A lot, a lot. Networking, meeting new people, um, members of your tribe are going to be introduced to you. You know, you've been calling those people in and they're coming towards you. Some of you all are planning a an event and you're going to need different people to help you with this either an event or like um moving in okay this is really specific somebody is moving into like a joint housing facility um like a community like a shared living space mm. something you are not <laughs> content with something you want to tell somebody something especially that you don't think it's working anymore it's time to go or some of you all may have just recently walked away from something after a long time, um, after a time, you know, going back and forth between it, but something is over here. <laughs> something that really just was not working for, for a time. It was beating you down more than anything. Again, I feel like you have a lot to say or maybe like words left unsaid. You walked away already, but you still got shit to say. You still want to talk your shit. And honestly, Cancer, I would I would express I would express um I would express but for some of you all, you aren't even concerned. It's like, you, I won't say you aren't concerned. You just rather focus on your ideas and what it is that you have going on, you know, the life that you are creating for yourself, than go back and, and try to seek closure for this person. It's like, I feel like, um, Cancer, you would rather just receive your own form of closure in this situation and something that you can do in order to receive um some type of closure if you need it or desire it is writing yourself a letter as if it is from that person or that group of people that situation you know um tell yourself everything that you need to hear as if is coming from that person there's your closure right there transmutation baby alchemy okay you gotta trick your brain sometimes you feel me
That's what law of assumption is and manifestation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cancer is like you want closure. It's like some of you all want closure, but you're you're good enough without it. You know, you're willing to just move on without it. Some of you all don't give a fuck. Like it's just like like I said, you you will be content with Receiving your own form of closure. What else for my cancer spirit? Um, I will say that the month of October, cancer, it's not going to be all, you know, sugar and rainbows. But for the most part, it is... Um, I, f I do feel like there will be your 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 I don't even want to say half and half but with the justice card in the middle here <laughs> um it's like you are going to take the good with the bad. If anything negative per se happens, it's going to be follow up with something positive right after and vice versa. <laughs> you know, if, if it just seems too good to be true, <laughs> like I'm not saying that it is okay. I'm just saying that you know, stay on the ready. Stay on the ready here. Because I see a balance of of energies. And with Mars still in Gemini. Um, for some of you, it's just like, it's too chaotic. It's, maybe it may not even be um, like a negative energy or heavy energy. It's just chaotic energy. And cancer, you thrive when, you know, things are flowing freely. Um, when you feel, you know, good emotionally, when things around you are solid emotionally. So... Some of y'all might be walking away from a Virgo, and that's that on that. And then for others of you, for others of you, it's almost as if, like, someone might be sick, or you are deciding not to get vaccinated or you are deciding to walk away from something because like it's unhealthy. Some of y'all are, um, I'm hearing it's like, I'm, I'm not one of them. You have a business, right? Or you do something that other people do. Like, you're not the only one in your market, but you like, I don't even want to be known as that because I do so much more than that. Say you're a teacher, okay? You're like, I'm not just a teacher. I am an educator, you know? It's like, I feel you adding tax. Yes. <laughs> I feel you adding tax to your worth here. So, that's a beautiful thing. That's, that's what's 
you know, in your overall energy. Adding tax to your worth, not taking just anything, not being, you know, just who they painted you to be. Like, no, you are your, you are cancer. For some of you all, it's like, I feel like you are deciding not to be so logical when it comes to making your decisions. Um, because when you think too hard is when shit gets kind of, kind of weird. I definitely I see you all moving um, forward with a lot more confidence I feel like this is the most confidence that you've ever had you've washed away in certain insecurities and um, things that did not make you feel at your best self I feel like you've really been taking like transformation like seriously you have really been focused on your rebirth and you're being successful with this, with this change. Transmutation, some of you all are definitely alchemists. I got that feeling earlier. So, um, because I mentioned law of assumption, yeah. Some of you all definitely manifest easily, okay? Once you make your decision, you are able to just... Like, know that that's it, and that's it. So, like I said earlier, tricking your mind. You decide on something, and that just is what it is. So, that's powerful. And, you know, make sure that you use that uh, for the right things, you know. Because shit can get wicked. <laughs> it happens all the time, as we see, you know, in these different organizations and governmental systems and shit like that so all right cancer well don't forget to let your light shine no matter who ablons and i hope that you all have a beautiful october and i will see you all for the full moon messages in aries ah! see you later <laughs>